IPSLA. IPSLA uses active traffic monitoring the generation of traffic in a continuous, reliable, and predictable manner for measuring network performance. Router generates packets to check service levels. IPSLA's uses SLA uses uh, generated traffic to can measure network performance between two networking devices. Used to measure and verify service levels, uh, example QoS, packet loss, field uh, jitter, jitter meaning inter-packet delay variance. uses different types of probes depending on the application being monitored. So it uses ICMP, TCP, UDP. And it can be tied into object or enhanced object tracking to take actions. IPSLA uh, uses the Cisco RTT Mon MIB for interaction between external network management system applications and the IPSLA's operations running on the uh, Cisco devices. So this is how uh, you configure IPSLA's ICMP ECHO operations. So in this case, uh, this is, I have a topology here. So in this case, I'm going to configure the source my source would be core switch, the core switch. So this is a layer three device in this case. And switch one, switch two, switch three are all layer two devices. And I have Ubuntu one here, printer and server. But uh, in this video, we're just gonna use this connection, the connection between switch one and switch core. And of course, uh, the connection between switch one and Ubuntu one. Okay, so like I said, how to configure IPSLA's ICMP echo operations. So basically, I'm just going to prove, I mean, con configure core as the source and I will uh, send probes to, uh, or ICMP echo to this Ubuntu one. So that's basically uh, what I'm going to do. So in this case, uh, it says here, no, there's no need to configure an IPSLA responder on the destination device. So the destination device would be the Ubuntu one in this case, right? So configuring a basic ICMP echo operation on the source device. So this is uh, how you configure the it on the source device, which is the core switch. So I'm actually here on the core switch. And of course, I checked the layer three connection or connectivity between the core and the Ubuntu one here. And let me just do that again. So the, the IP address of Ubuntu one is 10.20.20.2. And I can ping it from the core. And from Ubuntu one, my the gateway is actually core is actually actually my gateway would be this one here yeah that would be my gateway so that works uh, and I can also ping that IP uh, in VLAN, VLAN 10, but in this case, we are just, you know, uh, the connection, I mean, Ubuntu one is in VLAN 20. And of course, it's connected to switch one and switch one is connected to, to the core switch. All right, going back, um, let me just do show run begin IPSLA. I think I have configured this before. Yeah, so but it says here, uh, summary steps, uh, IPSLA, let me just do it again. You know what, let me just uh, remove it first. There you go. And I'll do it again. IPSLA, so in this case, I'm choosing, how about 100? 
for a change. And then I will say ICMP echo. So destination IP address is actually 10.20.20.2. That's the Ubuntu one's IP address. And question mark source is, I would say source IP is this year. Or just the management IP address. That's fine. And then enter. And then frequency, I'd say, so frequency is in seconds. So I'll say five. And then that's it. And save. So that's how you configure IPSLA as ICMP echo operations. But of course, uh, you have to configure, I mean, to schedule it. So in this here, uh, it says scheduling IPSLA's operations. So I'm going back into the global configuration mode and I'll say IPSLA. So this is actually how you schedule a operation number, but uh, there's another option which you can schedule a group. So uh, let me just check that. Yeah, group here. So group configuration or group scheduling, but we're not doing that in this case. We're just uh, scheduling a uh, a single operation. So in this case, I think I said 100. Yeah. So we start time is now. It says here now, and then lifetime is forever. Continue running forever. So. What it's basically doing now is sending ICMP uh, echo or probes or packets to uh, this uh, destination device. So like I said, we don't have to, again, uh, configure IPSLA's responder on the desti destination device because this device doesn't support it. But <clears throat> Uh, it doesn't matter in this in this case, so it's just a simple ping. But in other case, in other cases, you need to configure uh, it IPSLA responder on the destination device. Okay, so now I'm going to let me do show IPSLA configuration <clears throat> okay so enter number here enter number is 100 uh, operation timeout is 5000 so type of operation it's to perform is ICMP echo and target is this, the Ubuntu one, and this source address is this. And <clears throat> frequency is five seconds. That's what we set up. And life is forever. So never aged out. And to age out, never. Uh, recurring, okay, and false. Status of entry active. So, status of entry as an MP row. Yeah, I'm not really sure about this actually, but uh, like I said here, um, I see IPSLA uses the Cisco RTT Mon MIB for interaction between uh, external NMS applications and the IPSLA is running uh, on the Cisco devices. So, yeah, you can use. Um, I, as NMS applications to actually uh, interpret the this information better, or the, to to actually monitor the IPSLA IPSLA operations better, or get information a lot better.
Okay, so yeah, that's how you and and I've got and I've got uh, commands here that we can use to verify IPSLA's operations. So I I already tried IPSLA configurations, which what we just looked at. I also say IPSLA applications. So these are the supported operation types that you can do on this particular router. So ICMP echo, path echo, path cheater, UDP echo, TCP connect, HTTP, yeah, DNS, etc. And then I can do IPSLA summary. So this is another way of uh, verifying it. So ID is 100, type is ICMP echo, destination is this, which is Ubuntu one. And the stats is two, millis two milliseconds, right? Return code is okay, so uh, running fine. It's running fine. And then there's another command that we can use, which is that. So number of successes, 38. Number of failures, okay, yeah. Um, so far, so good. Operation, time to live forever. Okay, so yeah, going back here, uh, this is just an example of configuring an ICMP echo operation. Uh, another example of configuration. So the following example shows how to configure an ICMP, ICMP SLA's operation. Let me just uh, go back here. Yeah, let me fix that. Uh, to configure an IPSLA's operation type of ICMP echo that will start immediately and run indefinitely. So yeah, so basically just like what we did, but in this case they are, it's got uh, request data size which is 28 and toss 160 and other things and of course scheduling it. And this is the references that I used to basically um, you know, uh, create this video. Okay, so let me actually go ahead and go to switch one. And I'm going to shut gig zero slash one. And I'm going to back to the core and see if IPSLA statistics. So number of failures is still zero. Let's give it a few seconds. Okay, number number of failures is one now. <clears throat> so uh, IPSLA is detecting that it cannot. Uh, I mean our core is not able to ping Ubuntu one now. Now it's three. Number of failures failures is three. So let me do another command just to do, uh, a summary. So return code timeout. Yeah, it's not working anymore. So going back here, this is like I said earlier, this is uh, So core one in this case, I mean core in this case should be interacting with, you know, NMS applications or server so that it can send, you know, the SNMP traps and the administrator, network administrator can actually interpret the, the information uh, better than just uh, going, I mean, issuing this command. <clears throat> yeah, it's still timeout. And IPSLA. Yeah, I have 
uh, seven failures now. So let me go back to switch one and no shot it. Came up. Let's try now. Still timeout. Still timeout. IPSLA summary. <coughs> timeout. Let me ping it. Yeah, it's still not working. Let me go ahead and. Oh, yeah, now it works. I was going to say restart the uh, Ubuntu one, but it works now. Okay, yeah, return code, okay. And let me do that another command, which is this. Yeah, so number of successes is 50 now, uh, 56, okay. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's how you can actually configure um, IPSLA's ICMP echo operations on a router, which is, I mean, switch, core switch, which is basically the, the source device in this case. And the destination is uh, Ubuntu One, which is not a Cisco device, obviously, but uh, IPSLA still works. And uh, just to add as well, uh, like I said earlier, there's no need to configure IPSLA's responder on the destination device because that device doesn't support it in this case. All right, yep, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.